Hi, it's Nicole the Math Lady, and I'm here today to give you a walkthrough of the Saxon Math 7-6 curriculum. Now, I know when you're either starting a new curriculum or just starting a new year with the textbooks, sometimes it's hard to know, like, which books do I need, and how does it work, and how is it laid out, so I'm here to give you a detailed walkthrough of how it all works. thing we should talk about is the name, Saxon Math 7-6. What does that mean? People ask me this all the time. So I tell people, look at the second number. Our second number is a 6. That means we're talking about the 6th grade level. That's on grade level. Now 7 means maybe you've got some 7th graders who are doing this work, maybe struggling 7th graders. So, you know, 7th graders can look at this and see themselves represented, which I like. So on grade level for sixth grade, maybe a little struggling on the seventh grade. Now this book is the fourth edition. It was printed in 2005. You'll see it's a nice soft cover, which just makes things a little easier when you're carrying around these books. So I'm going to show you which textbooks you need. There are three. Let's start with this one. It's the Saxon Math 7-6 student textbook. It's the biggie. And then we have the solutions manual. Okay, not quite as big, but important. And then our third one that's important is our test and worksheets. So I'm going to take each of these books, go through what's in them, go through how to actually get to the material and the lessons, and let's see how it goes. So let's start with this one again, the student textbook. Okay, it's heavy, so I'm going to put it down. <laughs> but the first thing you need to know is that this is the main textbook or book that we're going to be using. It doesn't matter if you're a student or if you're a teacher. There isn't a particular like facilitator's guide or teacher's manual. Students, teachers, parents all use one same textbook. Now, how's it laid out? There are 120 lessons and 12 investigations. Investigations, they're kind of like labs. You know, kind of labs how you do in science. Investigations are, you know, this book's equivalent to the labs and there's 12 of them. All right, now there's in those 120 lessons, each lesson is broken down into four pieces. So I'm going to take you through those four pieces and show you some parts of the book to keep in mind as you're doing the curriculum. The first section is called the warm up. And it makes sense, right? It's the part where we're getting our brains warm up to do our work. It takes about 10 minutes to do this part of the lesson. And it's got three parts to it. The first part is called the facts practice. This is where your students are going to get drills and practices on how to do their math facts for the most part, which are very, very important. Really, the foundations of math. These are timed exercises, and the actual worksheets can be found in the students, uh, the tests and the worksheets books. Okay, I started to say student book, but I meant the test and the worksheets book. That's where you find them. You can write right in them and put all your information right there. That's the first part. Second part is called the mental math. And it is what it says. It's where your students should be able to do the majority of this work in their heads, but they do give you a place to write it down. Those sheets can also be found in the test and worksheets book. And the third part is called, I always forget what it's called, the problem solving. It's one question, y'all. One question, and it's a little different than the other ones. The other ones are, you know, where they're doing mostly computations. This is more logic building, you know, I kind of more the brain teasery kind of questions that make you think about how you're going to attack the problem. That's what they're really interested in. So these three portions, again, about 10 minutes or so just to get us started, just to wake up our brains. It's called the warm up. The next section is called the new concept. And this is where we teach the majority of the lesson. So there's a couple ways you could go about this. You could use the textbook yourself and teach your student the lesson. You also could give this textbook to your student and they could teach themselves. Or I like option number three. You could use me, Nicole the Math Lady. I actually go through every lesson in the textbook. I have a pre-recorded video that you can watch on demand, which really is anytime you want to watch it. You just go in, hit play, and there I am teaching the video as it is in the textbook. Generally, these videos are about five to 10 minutes long. So as you can see, this is how our lesson is shaping up. And I hear students like it. The next part of the lesson is called the lesson practice. This is after you learn the new concept, 
you got to practice what you've learned, right? So there's a few problems in the book. It generally takes five to ten minutes to do these, just to go ahead and, you know, try out what you just learned in the lesson. Now, I have a little freebie here. I'm from Nicole the Math Lady, if you're using our platform, that um, I have an extra optional video that has more practice problems. Because here's what I found out. Some students are ready just to go and do that lesson practice on their own. Other students maybe need a little bit more hand-holding to try out this new concept. So what I do in my optional video is I show them a problem, I tell them to take a stab at it, go ahead and try it, and then I say watch the video, watch me walk through the problem, and we walk through the problem together. Now that way, if they made a mistake, we can find where that mistake is and they can put a correction in right then and there, which is super important before it gets pummeled in the wrong way. We want to catch it and get it in the right way. Okay, so again, it's optional. Some students do it, some students don't. Some students will keep this video for like summer practice. They'll always have supplemental problems. The last part of our lesson is called the mixed practice. These are the 30 practice problems that are done in a spiral review. What do I mean by that? Well, some of the problems may be from today's lesson. Some might be from yesterday's. Some might be from last week's. So we're constantly going back to prior lessons and giving them practice on the problems that they have learned. What I love about this is students do not have a chance to forget what they've learned, which is important in math because you're going to see it again, right? We're always building on top of this, these concepts in math. Now, an important part of this is to notice in the textbook, Underneath the problem number, there's another number. It's in parentheses. That number tells us which lesson this particular problem came from. So if your student's having problem or is not understanding how to do this problem, they can go back to the lesson that's indicated here and they can read it again or watch the video again. Now here's where I want to tell you a little bit about how Nicole the Math Lady's online grading works. So your students, if they have our online grading package, they can actually enter the answers to all of these practice sets in our online grading platform. And what it does is it instantly grades their answers to see if they're correct, giving the student immediate feedback, which is awesome for students because what we don't want them to do is get it in their head wrong and it goes on for some time and then we have to try to reverse it. So if it's incorrect, we want to be able to fix that right away. Okay, so that's the cool part for kids is because they're going to get that immediate feedback. But the other thing is it's also cool for parents because parents, we know that grading practice sets for math, you know, those can begin to pile up after a while. So if it's being automatically graded, you'll get an email that actually shows you how your student did on that practice set. Now, what are you going to see? Well, you know, if they got it right on the first try, you'll see that. But if they got it incorrect, they actually have a chance to do it again. They have retries. And as part of their retries, remember that per number in parentheses I told you about? Well, we have that as a link in the system. The student can just click on it and opens up a window that has that video and they can watch it again. We want this because we want students to learn how to correct any issues that they might have, anything that's incorrect. They want, we want to be able to do this on their own, right? Which is really kind of one of the points of math. So the online grading is a great addition because, again, instant feedback for our students and our parents get to focus their time where their students need them the most. That's helping them with problems they might have gotten incorrect. Few other things in the student textbook I want to point out. So remember I said those investigations, right? They're kind of like the science labs, but, you know, for math, obviously. All right, well, there's 12 of those in the textbook, and they happen after every 10 lessons. They'll have more of one of these hands-on lessons. You'll also find a great glossary in the back of the book. And in the front of the book, you'll see a list of materials that are needed for this textbook. You also see a little bit about the Saxon math philosophy and get to read a letter from the author, Mr. Stephen Hake, who I've had the pleasure of meeting and like talking to him about this pretty cool curriculum. The next big book that we have to pay attention to is the Solutions Manual. This is where you will see detailed step-by-step -step walkthroughs of the practice sets, particularly the lesson practice and the mixed practice. They'll be a little bit more detailed for the mixed practice. And again, if your student gets stuck, you, you know, you either go through it with them or you can send them to the Solutions Manual to see that step-by-step -step walkthrough. The last book 
the test and worksheets. So yep, there are tests and they're administered about every five lessons. There's actually a schedule you follow and it's at the beginning of the test section of the book. And you know, in our Nicole the Math Lady platform, it's actually in uh, their lessons. So you don't have to worry about when it's coming up. We'll just show it as part of your daily work. Okay, so the tests are there and then the worksheets Again, I call this as like the grab bag of all everything else, right? Remember those uh, math fact sheets? They're in here. Uh, you might find the mental math, you know, sheets to put your answers down. They're in here too. Occasionally, your investigations will also need an activity sheet. You'll find that in here as well. So this is the test, and I call it the grab bag of everything else you're going to need for the curriculum. And that's it. That's a walkthrough of all of the textbooks that you need for the Saxon Math 7-6 curriculum. So three important books, and that shows you how they work together and how they're laid out. That's all I have for you today. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I hope we've made it simple for you. I will see you next time, everyone. Take care.